Chapter 5 Natural Vegetation and Wildlife This chapter has 11 pages and is read by Sheba About the book This book has 98 pages containing 7 chapters It is produced in daisy format You can navigate to any page and any chapter of this book by using arrow keys provided you have daisy player and software We wish you a happy listening of this audio textbook page 42 chapter 5 natural vegetation and wildlife friends have you observed the types of trees bushes grasses and birds in the fields and parks in and around your school are they similar or there are variations india being a vast country you can imagine the types of bioforms available throughout the country our country india is one of the 12th mega biodiversity countries of the world with about 47000 plant species india occupies 10th place in the world and 4th in asia in plant diversity there are about 15000 flowering plants in india which account for 6% of the world's total number of flowering plants the country has many non-flowering plants such as ferns algae and fungi india also has approximately 90000 species of animals as well as a rich variety of fish in its fresh and marine waters natural vegetation refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by human beings for a long time this is termed as virgin vegetation thus cultivated crops and fruits or should form part of vegetation but not natural vegetation friends do you know the virgin vegetation which is purely indian are known as endemic or indigenous species but those which have come from outside india are termed as exotic plants from the text the term flora is used to denote plants of a particular region or period similarly the species of animals are referred to as fauna this huge diversity in flora and fauna kingdom is due to the following factors relief land land affects the natural vegetation directly and indirectly do you expect the same type of vegetation in mountainous plateau and plain areas or in dry and wet regions the nature of land influences the type of vegetation the fertile level is generally devoted to agriculture the undulating and rough terrains are areas where grassland and woodlands develop and give shelter to a variety of wildlife soil the soils also vary over space different types of soils provide basis for different types of vegetation the sandy soils of the desert support cactus and thorny bushes while wet marshy deltaic soils support mangroves and deltaic vegetation the hill slopes with some depth of soil have conical trees climate temperature the character and extent of vegetation are mainly determined by temperature along with humidity in the air precipitation and soil on the slopes of the himalayas and the hills of the peninsula above the height of 915 meters the fall in the temperature affects the types of vegetation and its growth and changes it from tropical to subtropical temperate and alpine vegetation page 43 table 5.1 temperature characteristics of the vegetation zones there are four type of vegetation zones mentioned here as tropical subtropical temperate and alpine each of these require mean annual average temperature 
which are mentioned as above 24 degrees for tropical, 17 degrees centigrade to 24 degrees centigrade for subtropical, 7 degrees centigrade to 17 degrees centigrade for the temperate and below 7 degrees centigrade for alpine. Also mentioned are the mean temperature in January and the remarks. For tropical, there is no frost. Subtropical, frost is rare. Temperate, frost with some snow. And alpine can be seen only with the snow. The source, Environment Atlas of India, June 2001. Central Pollution Control Board, Delhi. Photo period, that is sunlight. The variation in duration of sunlight at different places is due to differences in latitude, altitude, season and duration of the day. Due to longer duration of sunlight, trees grow faster in summer. From the box, find out why are the southern slopes of Himalayan region covered with thick vegetation cover as compared to the northern slopes of the same hills? Precipitation in India, almost the entire rainfall is brought in by the advancing southwest monsoon, that is, June to September, and retreating northeast monsoons. Areas of heavy rainfall are more dense vegetation as compared to other areas of less rainfall. Find out, dear friends, why have the western slopes of the western Ghats covered with thick forest and not the eastern slopes? From the text, have you ever thought as to why forests are important for human beings? Forests are renewable resources and play a major role in enhancing the quality of environment. They modify local climate, control soil erosion, regulate stream flow, support a variety of industries, provide livelihood for many communities and offer panoramic or scenic view for recreation. It controls wind force and temperature and causes rainfall. It provides humus to the soil and shelter to the wildlife. India's natural vegetation has undergone many changes due to several factors such as the growing demand for cultivated land, development of industries and mining urbanization and overgrazing of pastures. There is an activity given. Celebrate one Mahotsav in your school or locality and plant a few saplings and notice their growth. From the text. The vegetation cover of India in large parts is no more natural in the real sense. Except in some inaccessible regions like the Himalayas, the hilly region of central India and the Marasthali. The vegetation of most of the areas has been modified at some places or replaced or degraded by human occupancy. The activity. Study the bar graph, figure 5.1. And answer the following questions. First, name the state having maximum area under forest cover. Second, name the union territory having minimum area under forest cover and why. Do you know friends, according to India State of Forest Report 2011, the forest cover in India is 21.5%. 0.5% Ecosystem Plants occur in distinct groups of communities in areas having similar climatic conditions. The nature of the plants in an area to a large extent determines the animal life in that area. When the vegetation is altered, the animal life also changes. All the plants and animals in an area are interdependent and interrelated to each other in their physical environment, thus forming an ecosystem. Page 
44. Human beings are also an integral part of the ecosystem. How do the human beings influence the ecosystem of a region? They utilize the vegetation and wildlife. The greed of human beings leads to overutilization of these resources. They cut the trees and kill the animals, creating ecological imbalance. As a result, some of the plants and animals have reached the verge of extinction. Do you know that a very large ecosystem on land having distinct types of vegetation and animal life is called a biome? The biomes are identified on the basis of plants. Figure 5.1 Area under forest cover Given here is a bar diagram which shows the states and the union territories of India. Also, it shows the area of forest in percentage. The source from where the data has been taken is India State of Forest Report 2013 and 2014. We see a much variation in the bars given here in this graph. They are so very uneven, showing that many states like Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Delhi, Gujarat, Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Daman and Diu as the Union Territory, Pondicherry another Union Territory. These states and Union Territories have a very little area under forest cover. On the contrary, states like Arunachal Pradesh, Goa, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura, the Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep shows a large cover of forest. Types of Vegetation The different types of vegetation First, Tropical Evergreen Forests Second, Tropical Deciduous Forests Third, Tropical Thorn Forest and Scrubs Fourth, Mountain Forests and Fifth, mangrove forests. Tropical evergreen forests. These forests are restricted to heavy rainfall areas of the Western Ghats and the island groups of Lakshadweep, Andaman and Nicobar, upper parts of Assam and Tamil Nadu coasts. Figure 5.2 There is a sketch given which shows the tropical evergreen forest and the various types of species found here from the ground layer to the maximum height of 60 meters. There are many types which are found here like a shrub layer which is confined to 5 meters, young trees up to 20 meters are found, canopy layer can be found up to 40 meters and the following major types of vegetation may be identified in our country as given in figure 5.3 on page number 45. Given here is the map of India which shows the various natural vegetation across the country. Tropical evergreen forest is found along with the western margin the deltaic regions on the eastern coast, the northeastern states of our country except Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim. Tropical deciduous forests are found in the major parts of our country which includes the central and parts of Uttar Pradesh. Tropical deciduous forest which includes a major part of our country the states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, parts of Uttar Pradesh, Orissa and parts of Tamil Nadu. The mountain forests are found in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, parts of Uttaranchal, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim 
and Arunachal Pradesh. Mangrove forests are found in very small patches along with the eastern coast, majorly in the deltaic regions, and especially they are found in West Bengal. Tropical thorn forests are found in a few patches in central India and parts of Rajasthan and Gujarat. Page 46 They are at their best in areas having more than 200 cm of rainfall with a short dry season. The trees reach great heights up to 60 m or even above. Since the region is warm and wet throughout the year, it has a luxuriant vegetation of all kinds. Trees, shrubs and creepers giving it a multi-layered structure. There is no definite time for trees to shed their leaves. As such, these forests appear green all the year round. Some of the commercially important trees of this forest are ebony, mahogany, rosewood, rubber and cinchona. The common animals found in these forests are elephants, monkey, lemur and deer. The one-horned rhinoceros are found in the jungles of Assam and West Bengal. Besides these animals, plenty of birds, bats, sloth, scorpions and snails are also found in these jungles. Tropical Deciduous Forests These are the most widespread forests of India. They are also called the monsoon forests and spread over the region receiving rainfall between 200 cm and 70 cm. Trees of this forest type shed their leaves for about 6 to 8 weeks in dry summer. On the basis of the availability of water, these forests are further divided into moist and dry deciduous. The former is found in areas receiving rainfall between 200 and 100 cm. These forests exist, therefore, mostly in the eastern part of the country, northeastern states along the foothills of the Himalayas, Jharkhand, West Orissa and Chhattisgarh, and on the eastern slopes of the western Ghats. Teak is the most dominant species of this forest. Bamboos, sal, shisham, sandalwood, hair, kusum, arjun, mulberry are other commercially important species. The dry deciduous forests are found in areas having rainfall between 100 cm and 70 cm. These forests are found in the rainier parts of the peninsular plateau and the plains of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. There are open stretches in which teak, sal, people, neem grow. A large part of this region has been cleared for cultivation and some parts are used for grazing. In these forests, the common animals found are lion, tiger, pig, deer and elephant. A huge variety of birds, lizards, snakes and tortoises are also found here. Figure 5.4 Tropical deciduous forests are shown here. The thorn forests and scrubs. In regions with less than 70 cm of rainfall, the natural vegetation consists of thorny trees and bushes. This type of vegetation is found in the northwestern part of the country including semi-arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Acacias, palms, euphorbias and cacti are the main plant species. Trees are scattered and have long roots penetrating deep into the soil in order to get moisture. The stems are succulent to conserve moisture. The stems are succulent to conserve water. Leaves are mostly thick and small to minimize evaporation. These forests give way to thorn forests and scrubs in arid areas. 
figure 5.5. A picture given here showing the thorn forests and scrubs. Page 47. In these forests, the common animals are rat, mice, rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger, lion, wild ass, horses and camels. Mountain forests In mountainous areas, the decrease in temperature with increasing altitude leads to the corresponding change in natural vegetation. As such, there is a succession of natural vegetation belts in the same order as we see from the tropical to the tundra region. The wet temperate types of forests are found between a height of 1000 and 2000 meters. Evergreen broadleaf trees such as oaks and chestnuts predominate between 1500 and 3000 meters. Temperate forests containing coniferous trees like pine, deodar, silver fir, spruce and cedar are found. These forests cover mostly the southern slopes of the Himalayas, places having high altitude in the southern and northeast India. At higher elevations, temperate grasslands are common. At high altitudes, generally more than 3,600 meters above sea level, temperate forests and grasslands give way to alpine vegetation. Silver fir, junipers, pine and birches are the common trees of these forests. However, they get progressively stunted as they approach the snow line. Ultimately, through shrubs and scrubs, they merge into the alpine grasslands. These are used extensively for grazing by nomadic tribes like the Gujars and the Bakravals. At higher altitudes, mosses and lichens form part of tundra vegetation. The common animals found in these forests are Kashmir stag, spotted deer, wild sheep, jack rabbit, Tibetan antelope, yak, snow leopard, squirrels, shaggy horn, wild ibex, bear and rare red panda, sheep and goats with thick hair. Mangrove forests The mangrove tidal forests are found in the areas of coasts influenced by tides. Mud and silt get accumulated on such coasts. Dense mangroves are the common varieties with roots of the plants submerged underwater. Figure 5.6 A picture showing the montane forests. Figure 5.7 A picture showing the mangrove forests. The deltas of the Ganga the Mahanadi and Krishna, the Godavari and the Kaveri are covered by such vegetation. In the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta, Sundari trees are found, which provide durable hard timber. Palm, coconut, kiora, agar also grow in some parts of the Delta. Royal Bengal tiger is the famous animal in these forests. Turtles, crocodiles, gharials and snakes are also found in these forests. From the box, let us discuss what will happen if plants and animals disappear from the earth's surface. Can the human being survive under such a situation? Why is biodiversity necessary and why should it be conserved? Page 48 in the box, given here are a few medicinal plants. India is known for its herbs and species from ancient times. Some 2000 plants have been described in Ayurveda and at least 500 are in regular use. The World Conservation Union's Red List has named 352 medicinal plants of which 52 
are critically threatened and 49 endangered. The commonly used plants in India are Sarpaganda used to treat blood pressure. It is found only in India. Jamun the juice from ripe fruit is used to prepare vinegar which is carminative and diuretic and has digestive properties. The powder of the seed is used for controlling diabetes. Arjun The fresh juice of leaves is a cure for earache. It is also used to regulate blood pressure. Babul Leaves are used as a cure for eye sores. Its gum is used as a tonic. Neem has high antibiotic and antibacterial properties. Tulsi plant is used to cure cough and cold. Kachnar is used to cure asthma and ulcers. The buds and roots are good for digestive problems. Identify more medicinal plants in your area. Which plants are used as medicines by local people to cure some diseases? Source Medicinal Plants by Dr. S. K. Jain, 5th edition, 1994, National Book Trust of India. There is an activity given in the form of a picture. Can you identify the type of forest shown here in this picture? Identify some trees in it. What type of similarity or dissimilarity you notice in this type of vegetation from the one found in your region? Wildlife Like its flora, India is also rich in its fauna. It has approximately 90,000 animal species. The country has about 2,000 species of birds. They constitute 13% of the world's total. There are 2,546 species of fish, which account for nearly 12% of the world's stock. It also shares between 5 and 8% of the world's amphibians, reptiles and mammals. The elephants are the most majestic animals among the mammals. They are found in the hot, wet forests of Assam, Karnataka and Kerala. One-horned rhinoceros are the other animals, which live in swampy and marshy lands of Assam and West Bengal. Arid areas of Ran of Kutch and the Thar Desert are the habitat for wild ass and camels respectively. Indian bison, Nilgai, that is, blue bull, Chasinga, that is, four-horned antelope. Gazelle, different species of deer, are some other animals found in India. It also has several species of monkeys. Do you know, Wildlife Protection Act was implemented in 1972 in India? From the text, India is the only country in the world that has both tigers and lions. The natural habitat of the Indian lion is the Gir forest in Gujarat. Tigers are found in the forest of Madhya Pradesh, the Sundarbans of West Bengal and the Himalayan region. Leopards too are members of the cat family. They are important among animal of prey. Do you know the Gir forest is the last remaining habitat of the Asiatic lion? Given here is a picture of a few Lions. The Himalayas harbor a hardy range of animals, which survive in extreme cold. Ladakh's freezing high altitudes are home to yak and shaggy horned wild ox, weighing around one ton. The Tibetan antelope, the bharal, that is the blue sheep, wild sheep, and the kiang that is, the Tibetan wild ass. Furthermore, the ibex, bear, snow leopard and very rare red panda are found in certain pockets. In the rivers, lakes and coastal areas, 
turtles, crocodiles and karyals are found. Page 49 Figure 5.8 The India map which shows various wildlife reserves. In this India map, there are many wildlife sanctuaries, bird sanctuaries and national parks located. To mention a few, we have Rajaji National Park, Kana National Park, Sanjay Gandhi National Park, Gir National Park, Bandipur, Simlipal, Rajgir, Manas and Kaziranga National Park. There are a few wildlife sanctuaries mentioned here and they are located in different parts of the country. A few are Siriska, Kaval, Mahanadi, Chandraprabha and Chandadaka. The bird sanctuaries are located in Vedantangal and and Ranganathito page 50 the latter is the only representative of a variety of crocodile found in the world today bird life in india is colorful peacocks pheasants ducks parakeets cranes and pigeons are some of the birds inhabiting the forests and wetlands of the country we have selected our crops from a biodiverse environment, that is, from the reserve of edible plants. We also experimented and selected many medicinal plants. The animals were selected from large stock provided by nature as milch animals. They also provided us drought, power, transportation, meat, eggs. The fish provide nutritive food. Many insects help in pollution of crops and fruit trees and exert biological control on such insects which are harmful. Every species has a role to play in the ecosystem. Hence, conservation is essential. As has been mentioned earlier, due to excessive exploitation of the plants and animal resources by human beings, the ecosystem has been disturbed. About 1,300 plant species are endangered and 20 species are extinct. Quite a few animal species are also endangered and some have become extinct. The main causes for this major threat to nature are hunting by greedy hunters for commercial purposes. Pollution due to chemical and industrial waste, acid deposits, introduction of alien species and reckless cutting of the forests to bring land under cultivation and inhabitation are also responsible for the imbalance. To protect the flora and fauna of the country, here some news items are given which diverts our attention towards the poaching and illegal hunting of the wildlife. Captioned as Government on Save Vulture Task Rhino Killed for Horn Nod to Tiger Protection Body Tigers Dying Census Confirms All these news items orient us with the killing of the wildlife. Activity Find out from the above newspaper cuttings the main concern highlighted in the given news items. Second, collect more information about various endangered species from newspapers and magazines. Third, find out various steps taken by the Indian government to protect them. Fourth, describe how you can contribute to the protection of endangered species and birds. From the text To protect the flora and fauna of the country, the government has taken many steps. First, 
Fourteen biosphere reserves have been set up in the country to protect flora and fauna. Four out of these, the Sundarbans in the West Bengal, Nanda Devi in Uttarakhand, the Gulf of Manar in Tamil Nadu and the Nilgiris, that is Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, have been included in the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. Page 51 from the box. Given here is a picture of a few migratory birds. Some of the wetlands of India are popular with migratory birds. During winter birds such as Siberian crane come in large numbers. One such place favorable with birds is the Ran of Kutch, at a place where the desert merges with the sea. Flamingo with their brilliant pink plumage, come in thousands to build nest mounds from the salty mud and raise their young ones. It is one among many extraordinary sites in the country. Is it not a rich natural heritage of ours? In the box, there are 14 biosphere reserves mentioned. These are Sundarbans, Gulf of Manar, the Nilgiris, Nanda Devi, Nokrek, Great Nicobar, Manas, Simlipal, Dihang Dibang, Dibru Saikova, Agastya Malay, Kanchanchanga, Pachmari, Achnakmar, Amarkantak. Second, financial and technical assistance is provided to many botanical gardens by the government since 1992. Third, Project Tiger, Project Rhino, Project Great Indian Bustard and many other eco-development projects have been introduced. Fourth, 89 national parks, 490 wildlife sanctuaries and zoological gardens are set up to take care of natural heritage. All of us must realize the importance of the natural ecosystem for our own survival. It is possible if indiscriminate destruction of natural environment is put to an immediate end. Exercise Question 1. Choose the right answer from the four alternatives given here. 1 of 1. To which one of the following types of vegetation does rubber belong to? A. Tundra, B. Tidal, C. Himalayan or D. Tropical Evergreen. 2 of 1. Sinkona trees are found in the areas of rainfall more than A. 100 cm, B. 50 cm, C. 70 cm or D. Less than 50 cm. 3 of 1. In which of the following state is the Simlipal Bioreserve located? A. Punjab B. Delhi C. Odisha or D. West Bengal 4 of 1 Which one of the following bioreserves of India is not included in the world network of bioreserve? A. Manas B. Nilgiri C. Gulf of Manar or D. Nanda Devi. Page 52. Question 2. Answer the following questions briefly. 1 of 2. Define an ecosystem. 2 of 2. What factors are responsible for the distribution of plant and animals in India? 3 of 2. What is a bioreserve? Give two examples. Four of two. Name two animals having habitat in tropical and montane type of vegetation. Question three. Distinguish between. One of three. Flora and fauna. Two of three. Tropical evergreen and deciduous forests. Question 4. 
name different types of vegetation found in India and describe the vegetation of high altitudes. Question 5 Quite a few species of plants and animals are endangered in India. Why? Question 6 Why has India a rich heritage of flora and fauna? Map skills On an outline map of India, label the following. First, areas of evergreen forests. Second, areas of dry deciduous forests. Third, two national parks, each in northern, southern, eastern and western parts of the country. Project Activity First, find some trees in your neighborhood having medicinal values. Second, find 10 occupations getting raw material from forests and wildlife. Third, write a poem or a paragraph showing the importance of wildlife. Fourth, write the script of a street play giving the importance of tree plantation and try to enact it in your locality. Fifth, plant a tree either on your birthday or one of your family member's birthday. Note the growth of the tree and notice in which season it grows faster. You were just listening to the chapter Natural Vegetation and Wildlife that contained 11 pages. This chapter was read by Shiba. Thank you.